Are you trying to create fake realistic shadows in Photoshop? Well, you've come to the right place. Roll that intro. What is up guys? Welcome back to The Raw Factory. My name is Jacob and the goal of this channel is to help you become a better food and product photographer. So how do I create fake realistic shadows in Photoshop? Well, firstly, there are two types of shadows. Hard shadows and soft shadows. Notice that both shadows have a base shadow and also a long shadow. So, to begin, let's start with trying to create a soft shadow. And let's use this donut shot for the first example. Firstly, I need to remove the background. Grab the object selection tool, click and drag. Then select the mask icon. This will hide the background. To learn more about layer masks, I'll leave a video linked below so you can check that out later on. Now, to create the first shadow, what we're gonna do is hold down the command key on your keyboard and click the layer mask. This will create a selection around the object. Next, click the new layer icon and fill the selection with black. Drag the layer under the donut Rename the layer to Shadow 1. Right click the shadow layer and make it a smart object. Then head to Filter, Blur. And apply a very minor blur to the shadow. We don't want to make it spread too much, otherwise it'll be too soft. To help me see the shadow better, I will make a white layer underneath. Okay, that is much better. Now, if we go back to our reference image, the first shadow doesn't go up that high. So I'm gonna remove some of it. Click the shadow layer and then select the mask icon. Ensure you are on the mask layer, grab the brush tool, select black and brush away. Change the blend mode to multiply. And for now, let's turn the opacity to 50%. Next up, let's create the second shadow. Repeat the same process as we did for the first shadow. Except this time, I want you to drag out the layer a lot more further down, similar to its original shadow. And don't forget to convert it to a smart object. You'll understand why later on. Add a gouache and blur, only this time I'm gonna make it a lot stronger. Change the blend mode to multiply. And that's looking great. I'm liking it so far. Although the first shadow could be adjusted slightly, I think. Thanks to the layer mask being a smart object, all I have to do is double click on the gouache and blur to adjust it. And bam, it's done. It looks great, fantastic. Sign it off, send it to the client. Except uh, I am the client. <laughs> it's a tutorial, man. It's a bloody tutorial. There's no clients here. Okay. And now just for fun, let's quickly change the background color. Not bad at all. Now you're probably thinking, but what if we shot this with hard lighting? What if I want to replicate hard light? Well, stick around because I'm going to do that right now. Now, when we look at hard light versus soft light, hard light is a lot more stronger and bold, isn't it? So what do we do? Well, my common sense tells me if I make that shadow a lot more bold and less softer and less spread to the gouache and blur, I should be able to replicate hard light. Not bad. Now, if this donut was actually shot in real hard lighting, the top surface being the reflective surface would be a lot harsher, a lot more brighter is what I mean. So let's do that. Let's add a levels to increase the brightness of the top of the donut. Right click and select create a clipping mask. This will ensure that the levels adjustment will only affect the layer below. Pretty cool, right? Now, make your adjustments. Now, I don't want the levels to affect the front of the donut, so if I click the mask icon of the levels adjustment and paint in with black, I can hide away the levels adjustment. Pretty neat, right? Just like that, we have hard light hitting my donut with a harsh shadow. Yeah, it was taken in uh, harsh lighting, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, that is all for me today, guys. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe to help others find this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Remember, don't wait. Make something creative today. Catch you, guys. <laughs>